Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Lacaro freestanding punching bag. So check it out. All right guys, so before we do the review, let's go ahead and do a quick close up of this punching bag, starting from the top to bottom. Uh, one thing I'll mention, this bag is manufactured in China. Uh, the outside is a synthetic polyurethane outside casing. Um, has kind of a texture to it to try to resemble leather, but it's definitely not genuine leather. You do have laces on top for the, the lid which is where they insert the actual foam into. Uh, it has multi-layer foam on the inside. This outside layer that sits against uh, where you punch the first layer is basically like a styrofoam sheet. Um, and then coming down to it, it has much more of a medium to soft uh, feel and density to it. So it's just, I guess a drawback to that is you'll notice that there's a big indentation right here. Um, and that's kind of an area where I like to punch a lot. And you'll notice that it really took shape to that. And that was really after only just like one day of, of training on this bag. Uh, the good news is that it's actually really soft in the fact that it's more forgiving on your joints. Um, you don't have to worry about the bag being like rock solid. Some heavy bags you get, they're just super hard and um, they can hurt your wrist and cause uh, long-term issues with your joints when you use it. Um, it does have kind of this uh, white and red color offset design. It says uh, Lacaro on here. Keep on getting better is basically their slogan. The uh, logo on here, I'm not really too sure what that's supposed to be. It looks kind of like a pyramid or a G or, I don't know. But anyhow, you have that logo on there. It also comes with uh, this wraparound Velcro pad. Uh, that's about one inch in thickness. Again, it's made out of that same similar synthetic kind of like vinyl material. Um, and they put this on the very bottom for those of you that are gonna use it for like kickboxing or karate or whatever it may be. Anything that uses any kind of like low kicks, um, you have this Velcro at the very end. You can remove it, um, but it gives you a little bit of extra padding. So if you were to use low kicks on it, I don't kick. So um, if you were to hit me with a low kick, I wouldn't know what to do. But anyhow, <laughs> you have the nut at the bottom, the aluminum that connects to it. You have a foam collar. Uh, and then you have four machine screws with the nuts that attaches to the actual springs, the suspension, uh, which gives it that uh, that flex. So when you punch the bag, it, it kind of softens and deadens the vibration. You have the mounting plate. You also have the fill port. You fill it with water. They, uh, they don't recommend using sand. Um, the base is plastic. Um, has these little designs of people throwing punches and kicks. And then the very bottom, you have suction cups. Uh, which to me is required. And we'll kind of go in detail with this bag here in a second, but you, to me, you have to use these suction, suction cups, which means that if you were to buy this bag, you have to have a surface like my garage floor that can can have a, a suction a cup attached. It has to be a, a smooth floor, it can have any texture to it. Um, otherwise, this bag won't perform um, very well or as intended. Um, so just do keep that in mind. So that's pretty much the bag itself. Just to show you guys what it looks like. And we'll go ahead and do the review. Hey guys, Carlo here. And today I'm doing a review on the Lacaro freestanding punching bag. This retails for $169 from Amazon. You can also get it in a black and gold colorway. It's the same exact bag, uh, but I think that's actually like $40 more for the black and gold colorway. Why it's more expensive and it looks exactly the same except for the colorway, I'm not too sure, but you, you have that option. Uh, the bag itself is manufactured in China. It utilizes a synthetic polyurethane outside casing, and I believe it's a three or four layer of foam on the inside. Included with the bag, you also get a pair of hand wraps and a pair of these uh, boxing gloves. These are synthetic as well. Nothing special, nothing crazy with these. The good thing about that is that if you're maybe a beginner to uh, boxing or combat sports, Maybe you just want to get in shape, burn some calories. Uh, it's nice that they include this with the bag so you don't have to go out and, and purchase your own pair and pay extra for that. So, um, you know, they're certainly not the best gloves in the world, but they'll definitely get the job done. So you do get a pair of hand wraps and these gloves as well. 
Uh, now dimensions wise, when you look at this bag, it's about 70 inches in height. Um, I'm about five foot eight, so you can see it's a little bit taller than me. It's 11 inches in diameter from side to side. Um, I'd say the bag itself is a little bit on the more skinnier side, but you can certainly get a good workout. And um, one thing I, I noticed with this bag as well is that it kind of forces me to be a little bit more precise with my punches because I don't have such a wide target. Um, so you have that. You also have that pad that I showed you guys earlier in the close-up. So maybe if you, you do some kind of kickboxing, uh, another combat sport that utilizes kicks, you can do that at the very bottom where there's a pad. And then you also have the plastic base that is filled with water. Uh, and when it's completely filled, just depending how much water you put in there, it's usually anywhere between like 80 to 90 pounds completely filled. And at the very bottom is the suction cups that screw in using a, a machine screw, which to me is 100% required to use this bag. Now, if you live somewhere where you only have carpet or the floor that you have on, uh, or the floor that you have is textured and you can't use suction cups, then this bag is not going to be a very good bag for you. You're gonna hit it and it's gonna fall over right away. You're not gonna be able to hit it re really with any kind of power whatsoever. Uh, because even with the base filled, fully filled with water, anywhere between like, you know, again, 80 to 100 pounds of water, any kind of powerful shot at this bag will tip the bag over. So it's, it's definitely required to have the suction cups. So for those of you that, again, that it, you have carpet or any kind of textured floor, um, the rest of this video is probably gonna provide to be, you know, pointless because you probably won't end up getting this bag. Now, for those of you that do have like a slick garage floor or your gym has a slick floor that a suction cup can stick to, then this could be a viable option. Um, to me, this is a good alternative for those of you that live maybe in an apartment or somewhere where you can't hang a heavy bag from the ceiling, you don't have that option. This is definitely a solid option. This is a solid alternative uh, as long as you can use the suction cups. And I, know, I know I keep repeating myself with the suction cup thing, but it's imperative that you guys use the suction cups because I get that question all the time. Well, if I hit it with a roundhouse kick, will I be able to take it? With the suction cups on, it can take some pretty good punches. You can take, you know, you can hit it with some good, some good haymakers, some good shot, some hooks, some, some straight punches, even if I'm not using good form. And I just want to hit it with just all power, no technique, just straight up punching it as hard as I can. You can see that it could take it pretty well. And again, that's because the combination of the water and the suction cups does a really good job of keeping it uh, attached to the ground. Outside of that, um, you're gonna you're gonna have issues with it toppling over. Um, as far as durability goes, this padding on here, uh, although it's nice and soft, I like the feel of it. So when you punch it, it feels really good because it's a little bit more on the softer side. It feels like um, it absorbs your punches really nicely. It's not like a really densely filled rock solid bag. I've hit some of those at the gym before from title boxing and it just, it hurt my wrist over time, especially a couple of rounds in, you don't want to use that bag anymore because it just hurts your hands. This is really nice in the fact that it absorbs shots nicely. However, the foam hasn't really held up really well. And you can see that there's just this big indentation uh, from me aiming into that same spot. So durability is definitely a kind of a concern. Uh, I mean, the material itself, this polyurethane has held up pretty well. I don't kick, I don't do any kind of low kick, so I can't really comment on this pad at the bottom. Um, but the bag itself, I would say the padding on the inside is probably my biggest concern. The flip side to that is that you can actually cut the laces off the top or undo the laces. And if you do find that the, the padding is starting to break, break down, you can go to a local store, hardware store, Michaels, a arts and crafts store, and maybe get yourself a couple of pieces of foam and just insert it in there to kind of supplement, supplement the foam from breaking down. Um, Again, it being more on the narrow side or a little bit on a skinnier side, um, it's not as large as you know a 100 pound heavy bag, like a traditional size bag from like Tidal Boxing, uh, you know, Nazo, Prolast, whatever, Rival. So it's a little bit on the skinnier side, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I still feel that I still get a good, decent workout with this. You just have to be a little bit more precise with your punches. But, you know, all of your straight punches feel good. 
you can work hooks to the body, hooks to the head. You notice that it does move when you hit it and that's obviously from the coil spring suspension down below. So you definitely have that mobility with that. Um, I also do like that it's consistent throughout the entire bag. So if you hit it down here, you hit it in the middle or you hit it up top, it feels the same throughout the bag. You don't have any like hard spots. The only time you, you, you end up having like a, a spot that's inconsistent is like when I keep punching the same spot over and over. So that's the drawback. But as far as consistency goes, you know, you can really hit it anywhere on this bag and it pretty much feels the same. So that's, that's a big plus with this bag. Um, obviously the higher up you hit it, the more the bag will bend over because again, it has that suspension at the bottom. So if you hit it down here, you're not gonna get as much flex, you know, obviously if you hit it compared to the top. Um, and again, you can definitely hit it with some good power and not have any issues with the bag toppling over. It feels good as you, you hit it. You can hit it with your bare hands. You can use the gloves that they provide with the bag. Completely up to you. But overall, to be fair, if I had an apartment or if I couldn't hand it, hang a heavy bag in my house, I just didn't have the ability to do it. Um, I think this is a good alternative to be honest with you. I mean, and even at the price point of $169, I believe you get free shipping just depending on where you live through Amazon. You get a pair, of, you know, I know it's not a huge deal, but you get a pair of uh, hand wraps and, and gloves that are included. So if you're like completely green and never punched a punching bag before, um, I definitely think this is a good alternative. I think you'd be satisfied with this. Um, just again, I repeat myself, keep in mind, if you don't use the suction cups, you'll probably hate this bag. Um, so make sure you fill the base up with water, you use suction cups, and it can, it, it, it can suck to the floor that you attach it to. Um, and I definitely think this is a good bag. Now, if I have the ability, like I do, to hang a bag um, in my garage or whatnot, that's always gonna be 100 times better in my opinion. So if you're saying, well, I can just go ahead and hang a heavy bag, um, and use that, then duh, obviously I'd go that route. I would never even entertain this, but for the sake of um, checking this bag out for the review and for those of you that can't go that route, uh, I definitely think this is a good alternative and so far um, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is the, the mobility of this. Because it does have suction cups at the bottom, you might have a difficult time moving it around because it does stick to the floor really well. So what I found I, I did with this is that you really just kind of have to give it a really hard tug or you might have to get something underneath the base to pry it. But if you give typically if you give it a good tug, you'll see that it, it comes undone. And then from there you can just basically kind of roll it on its side to the spot you want to put it and then put it down. So um, yet it's not as mobile as you'd like it to because of the suction cups. Uh, but it's kind of just one of those things you have to have and, you know, you take the good with the good and the bad with the bad, and that's the way I call it with this bag. So overall, very satisfied with this. Has a couple small issues with the foam kind of breaking down, but I mean, for $169, um, you know, it's not gonna be the most premium bag in the market. So you kind of know where you're getting yourself into. You kind of get what you pay for, um, but a good alternative for those of you that need another option. So if you guys have any questions, comments, make sure you guys leave them down below on the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you find this Lucaro freestanding punching bag. I'll see you guys later. Take care.